Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a tackle your to-do list with me video. I am really excited to get everything done on my list today. I have a long list of things that I need to do, but that's pretty much every day for me. I have all these things that I have written down in my notes on my phone and from the moment I wake up till the moment I go to bed, I'm constantly trying to check things off so that I don't feel as overwhelmed. So. If you have a lot to get done today, hopefully this video gives you some motivation. I'm in my bathroom because that's where we're going to start today. I also really quickly wanted to thank Thrive for sponsoring today's video. I'll talk more about them in just a minute. I'm going to declutter and reorganize mainly underneath our bathroom sinks because it's, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I really need to explain. It's it's not good. So I have a basket over here for things that I'm going to donate and then I have a trash bag for things that I want to get rid of or things that are expired. Underneath Adam's sink is pretty bad too. Yeah, it's really bad actually. So we're going to go through both of these. This top drawer is pretty organized so I don't really have to do much there. And then this is like extra makeup and I just went through this. So I just need to straighten it up a little bit but I clean that out. Pretty recently this drawer however is really bad this is mainly like hair care stuff and then I have like my extra high smile whitening um, gels in there so definitely need to organize that but mostly focusing underneath our sinks because that's just awful I also need to reorganize my jewelry I don't have a ton of jewelry um, I'll show you guys it's in my closet actually so this is how I'm storing my jewelry right now I didn't like the look of it in my bathroom on the counter so I just decided to bring it over here because I don't reach for jewelry a whole ton. I wear mostly like rings and sometimes necklaces. So yeah, I just put it in my office. So I need to um, reorganize this a little bit better because there's a ton of jewelry just like sitting on my counter because I unpacked from our trip recently. I really don't like how I have my jewelry up there, but I don't have anywhere else to put it. I think when we build our new house, I'm going to have them do like I don't know, those pull-out drawers? I don't know what you call them. So that everything's like hidden and it's like built in. Um, Cause I don't like how I'm organizing my jewelry right now, but I'm not gonna buy something because we're gonna be moving soon, hopefully. So anyways, I just went off on a tangent. We're mainly going to organize my bathroom right now. And then I have a few other projects around the house that I wanna hopefully get done today. So let's jump right into it. Told you every single time, don't you worry.
Okay, so I just finished up underneath my sink. So this is what it looks like now. Everything is so much more organized. So I have all of my tanning products back there, all of my hair care products right here. I don't use these nail polishes a whole ton, but we'll paint the girls' nails here and there, so I like to keep those for them. Um, these are products that I had sitting up on my vanity, like on my bathroom sink, but I'm gonna have them down here instead because I just didn't want a whole lot of clutter on the countertops, so I just brought it down here. Um, I went through these like crazy, so these are just like extra products. Um, I have like my nail file, um, nail scissors and stuff in there to do my nails if I need to, extra deodorant, some Bior strips, extra face wash. And then I have travel products right there so I can just bring that basket out if we're traveling and I need like shampoo or deodorant or something. Um, I have pads and like ovulation strips and stuff in there, um, extra toiletry bags, extra pads, those are left over from Grayson's after I gave birth to Grayson. Um, I have extra um, shaving cream and some body lotion and some makeup wipes back there. So that's everything that I have. I downsized a lot. I got rid of a lot of stuff. This is all stuff that I'm gonna donate and then I got rid of a lot of things that were expired or I've used and didn't like that I can't donate. So I think now I'm gonna move on to Adam's side of the sink. This is really bad too. Okay, and here is what the after looks like underneath Adam's sink. So I have some extra toilet paper, um, like hair stuff for him, like his hair shears and stuff, his little buzzer, I think that's what's in there. Um, his toiletry bag for when we travel, um, a first aid kit. We have some hydrogen peroxide back there, Chloe's dog shampoo, more first aid kit stuff in here. There used to be Band-Aids in here, but we keep them in the kitchen now. Um, some lotion backstock products for Adam. And then there's extra backstock of Q-tips and cotton pads underneath there. And then when I like sprained my neck or whatever it is I did um, a few months ago, we stocked up on like all of the things. So I have tons of Icy Hot and like Biofreeze and stuff in that basket, After Sun stuff in that basket, and some Epsom salts for baths that we never take back there. So, that is everything that we have underneath Adam's sink. So much more organized. I definitely got rid of a lot of stuff as well. So lots of stuff to donate. And now I think I'm going to probably organize down here because this is another drawer that's just gotten way too out of hand.
Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the drawers now. This wasn't too bad actually. All this was pretty much organized like this already. There was just a bunch of hair ties and my whitening stuff that I used to whiten my teeth on top of it. So I organized that a little bit better. And now all my hair care stuff is down there. Um, I barely did anything in here. I just kind of like cleaned up a little bit. Um, up here, I didn't really do much either. I just emptied out the um, flossers in that little compartment. So didn't do too much in there. This was already organized. So I have my toothpaste and my Invisalign. This was already like this too. These are things I use every single morning. I organized this drawer a little bit better. I really needed to wipe this drawer down. So I did that and just kept Adam's like toothbrush and toothpaste and mouthwash in that drawer. And then same thing with this drawer. This was already pretty much as is. I just took a few things out of this one that didn't belong in there and brought them over here. So I took all of my headbands and put them in this little basket underneath Adam's side of the sink because mine is pretty packed full and took the sun care products out and just have them sitting right there. That way all of my headbands are consolidated into one spot and they're not taking up a bunch of space down here in this drawer. So now what I'm gonna do is put away all of my jewelry and organize these drawers a little bit better. So all of my necklaces and my bracelets are hanging up there. So I'm just gonna put everything back and then just kind of straighten up these drawers. Okay, now that our bathroom is all organized, I'm gonna move into our kitchen and not organize our pantry because I kinda of just did that like not too long ago. It's very organized, I just need to stock it up. I got my Thrive order in. So Thrive is an online market-based membership program that offers like 25 to 50% off retail prices. And their whole mission is to help make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got in my box. The girls are obsessed with Play-Doh right now, so I got them this cute little Play-Doh set. So, I got that for them. I got some eco-friendly Play-Doh for them for that kit. I also got them, this is for Grayson actually. Um, I got him, I swear by these, I did a teething favorites video like a while ago for Shay, and I cannot recommend these enough. Grayson is starting to teeth pretty bad, so I got him these Camellia, um, they're like homeopathic medicine drops. So I got him those, I use those with Shay, and they work really well. I also got some toddler probiotics for the kids. I also got a, another sippy cup for Grayson. I'm testing out a few to figure out which ones I like best, so I will update you guys on how well that one works. And then, I'm obsessed with these, you guys. They're so good. So, these are Smart Sweets. So I got a few different ones. They have like very, very low sugar. So I got a few different ones. I got the Sour Blast Buddies, um, the Gummy Bears, and the Peach Rings. The Peach Rings are really good. I'm actually gonna open one up right now. So Thrive Market literally has everything that you need from organic groceries to clean beauty products to eco-friendly like toddler toys, um, sippy cups, literally everything that you can think of Thrive Market has to offer. And I just love the convenience of Thrive Market. It's really easy to find like safe, non-toxic, clean products for myself and my family. And there's two different membership options to suit you and your lifestyle. So there's a one month membership 
and that is $9.95. And then there's a 12 month membership at $5 a month. And you can also get up to a $20 shop credit when you join today. So we went with the 12 month membership because it comes down to only $5 a month. And I love all of the products that Thrive Market has to offer. And like I said, it just makes it so convenient. I can just log into my account, search for whatever I'm looking for. And they always have so many different options. So if you guys wanna check them out, you can click the link in my description box to sign up for Thrive Market now. And again, you can get up to a $20 shop credit on your account. And thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this filling in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back Ourselves. Didn't have much, but nevertheless, we were true to each other. But now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down, and slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Okay, stocked up on the pantry. So I have my sweets here, the kids' fruit roll ups. Um, I just need to stock up on like veggie straws and snacks and teethers for Grayson. So, got a stocked pantry and it's still nice and organized. The other big project that I need to do that I've been putting off, I told you guys about this in my last video, but <laughs> this is just like so out of hand. So, I'm gonna downsize a ton we do not need all this medicine but yeah here we are so this is the next thing i'm going to tackle and if you need to organize your medicine cabinet do it with me hopefully this gives you some motivation and we can do it together
Okay, you guys, I finally finished and it looks so much better, like a million times better. I downsized so much on our medicine, so I decided to keep it up higher because we don't reach for it often at all. So I did the tumblers on the bottom two shelves in my water bottles. We have like those miscellaneous parts in there. And yeah, so whenever we need medicine, which isn't very often, I can just get a little stool and come up here and grab down whatever one that we need. So I tried to organize them a little bit better so that if we need something, it's all in one little organizer. So I have like all the kids, Motrin and Tylenol, um, allergy medicine and stuff all in this one. There's like thermometers, um, just like random things in here, um, stuff to take temperatures. I bought literally like every thermometer on the market when Bailey spiked that high fever. So have those in there. I have like ibuprofen, Dayquil, NyQuil and stuff in here. Um, other random things up there. There's like a nest pot <laughs> stuff for sinuses and that left one. Um, stuff for pink eye, like gas relief <laughs> in the middle one. And then hauls for the kids and like vitamin suckers in there. And then we have cough drops in the corner right there. So there is the after, so much better. I feel like I can breathe again. And then these I'm gonna bring upstairs and put in Grayson's room so I can give it to him before like nap or bedtime. Um, I'm not gonna keep him down here because <laughs> then I won't remember to use them. So I'm gonna put these next to, or on top of his dresser, like with all of his like bath products and stuff. That's gonna be it for today's video though. I hope this gave you some motivation and inspiration to tackle a space in your home that has been driving you crazy because those two spaces in mine were for sure. Thank you again to Thrive for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.